I don't even need to say too much about these underwears because the ones who get it, get it, and the ones who don't, don't. Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy D Combs and I'm finally back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a return subscriber, welcome back. Based on the title, you guys should know what this video is going to be about. It's going to be another Savage X Fenty shopping haul. Before I jump into this video, I want to give a big shout out to um, you guys for making my very first Savage X Fenty video reach over 3,000 views. Not in a million years did I ever think that my little video... Um, will make it that far and if you're an OG you guys already know this robe came from the very first video that I ever shot um, for Savage X Fenty. My second Savage X Fenty video was about nine months ago and it reached over I think 1.5 thousand views. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to of course my viewers who are watching me across the globe. Um, of course United States, the UK and France. I want to give you guys a big big shout out. I sincerely want to tell you guys that I'm so grateful for you guys because if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't even reach 3,000 or the 1,500 or any of those numbers um, without you guys so based on the title you guys should know that this is gonna be another Savage X Fenty shopping haul I haven't done a video like this in a very long time um, and I'm super excited this video is gonna be a lot of items I have about me I would say over like 35 items um, and I can't wait to show you guys what I purchased. I spent a coin. When I say a coin, I mean a coin. Okay? So, this video is going to be a lot of underwears. However, I'm not going to try on every pair of underwears for the sake of community guidelines. I know how YouTube can get and I don't want to show too much um, and get this video taken down. So, some pieces that I have purchased, I will show you guys. And some pieces I won't because it's a little risque if I must say if you know what I mean and without further ado let's jump right into the video so as you guys can see right here this is a very very hefty bag it might look little in the camera but this bag is super heavy um, I consolidated all the items in one bag because it was a lot let's just get to it like look at all these items I'm just I'm, I'm gonna just dump it and you're gonna see how many items in there Exactly. So yeah, this is called a coin. All right, you guys seen it? This is called a coin. <laughs> so before I even get started and showcasing what I have purchased from Savage X Fenty, um, all the items will be listed down in the description bar down below. If I forget a name or I forget a price, just know that everything that I purchased here will be down below in the description bar. In this video, I'm going to sort them out into categories. So I'm going to sort them first with boxer briefs, boxers, drop traps and thongs, and then of course like sets and stuff like that. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I have about, like I said, I have over like 35 items in here. So just bear with me. So, I actually want to start off with the box of briefs since that's the most I have here. I have literally, let me count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 pairs of box of briefs here. Some of these boxers vary in different sizes because your boy was gaining some weight and then lost it. So when some of these boxes are size medium and some of these boxes are size small so just keep that in mind I was slim then I gained some weight you know and then I lost my weight all again so you're gonna see some smalls and some mediums so let's just jump right in so the first pair of boxer briefs are these right here these right here are called the matte elastic navy blue in a size medium um on the camera it looks purple and I think it's because of the elastic band however these are navy blue um they are a size medium like I said um I actually love these boxers I think that the color choice of the purple and the navy blue um complement each, complement each other very very good um and I feel as if that a lot of her boxer briefs have the signature thick band and I actually like the thick band, I must say, because 
when I have smaller bands on underwears, they tend to like, you know, roll down or get scrunchy. Not these, baby. Um, so I would definitely give these underwears a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I don't even have to give the rating. You guys should know that everything that's going to be here is going to be a 10 out of 10 because I purchased it. So I actually loved it. Like there's not one item here that I've seen that got delivered and I was like, ew. I actually like all these items, so I shouldn't even give a rating at this point. <laughs> but yeah, so these underwears are so cute. I think they're so simple, but they are definitely a statement for sure. The next pair of boxer briefs are these right here. These are um, the Savage X um, boxer briefs in a size small, also navy blue. Again, they're looking a lot purple on the camera, but they are navy blue. However, the elastic band with the Savage X Fenty logo on it, has this glitter effect, and it's purple. I don't know if you guys have picked the camera's picking it up. I think it is picking it up. And the uh, lettering on the elastic band is kind of like this jelly material. Jelly material. It's kind of like this, has this jelly texture to it. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I absolutely love, love these pair of boxer briefs because I feel like they're very different. Um, I don't know how the texture of the, um, how the texture would be after washing them but I would definitely get back to you guys once I wash these and maybe the next video I will tell you guys how these underwears reacted in the washing machine you know I don't even have boxes like these so that's why I picked like you guys gonna see I picked a lot of exotic colors because I don't have colors like that like I usually just have like I'm a simple simple person when it comes to boxers I'm either white black gray blue or red that's it like the primary colors, no purple, no pink, like no orange, none of that. So, yeah. So, for the third pair of boxer briefs are these Savage X trunks. Um, then the color is caviar in a size medium. As you guys can see, the elastic band has the Savage X Fenty signature logo. Um, and it's in glitter. However, the glitter does not come off. So don't worry. Um, and these are a size medium, like I said. I must say that these would have to be one of my favorite pairs because they're black and red. Um, these just give me a little bit of spice, you know? You can definitely wear these for Valentine's Day just to spice up, you know, an occasion or whatever the case may be. So these are by far one of my favorites out of this whole entire collection. Um, and I love black, as you guys can see. I love black so, so much and yeah. These are amazing. So for the fourth pair of boxer briefs are these right here. These are called Blue Cyber with rose gold in a size small. That's what it says in the packaging. These are also glitter on top and they don't come off like I said before for the previous pair. Um, these are boxer briefs so they're, as you guys can see they're longer. Um, I would have to say some of these items here were like old old back when this robe came out like when I remember when I first made the video with Savage X Fenty and I had said that a lot of items that I wanted were sold out well she restocked so some of these items that I have here they were restocked and I grabbed them as soon as I can and this is one of them so if you're an OG person and you guys been shopping with Savage X Fenty you guys know that this right here is old like old old but um yeah so I love blue, I love the color tone, um, and the camera it looks really bright, but for some strange reason it's not that bright. It's kind of like on the navy tone. It's kind of a little darker, um, like a dark blue. Sort of like a, a royal blue, but not royal blue, you know? But um, I absolutely love these pair. I think that they just look funky, and I think that the rose gold with the black band and the blue complement each other so well. Um, and yeah, like, did I say the size small? Yeah, these are a size small. And I absolutely love, 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 love these boxers. Like, seriously. Like, and my favorite color is blue. One of my favorite colors are blue. So, these are amazing, actually. Oh my god, I'm so rude. That's so rude of me. So, for my next pair of boxers, these are called the Boxer Briefs Matte Elastic Fury Orange. They might look red on the camera. However... Well, they look red in person, but the camera is looking like orange. So I think this color is accurate in the camera. <laughs> I think it's accurate. Um, these are a size small. These are boxer briefs. Um, the, like I said, the color is Fury Orange. The elastic band is black with the signature logo. It's red. It's not Fury Orange. Um, 
these underwears, child? I don't know. Um, I think they are extremely bright for me, but I think that they're just funky, you know? And I like that. Now, these underwears here, oh man, these underwears here, these underwears, I don't know, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say this, that this underwear, underwear right here has to be one of my favorite underwears, like top two and it's not two, seriously. These are called the Savage X Trunks with the red violet, um, elastic band on top so the bottom is pink and the top is like a violet color with the pink Savage X Fenty logo and um glitter these oh my god when I saw these online and these came out during Valentine's time I felt in love and I had to get these as soon as possible um just the color they are trunks but hey we make an exception you know these are just I don't know. I think it's just the color, the grape, like the violet grape color on top with the pink. And it's not like a bright pink. It's kind of like a maroon pink. Like a fuchsia, but like a fuchsia that's like a dark fuchsia. I I have I actually have a sweatsuit like this. This color amazing. And I when I saw this, I fell in love. These have to be one of my favorite underwears. Um and I don't have much to say about these, honestly, because they speak for itself. Like, look at them. Take a quick look. A quick glance. A one-two, one-two. These are beautiful. Now, this pair, I think I bought two of the same, but they look fairly different, but they are literally identical. It's just one difference. And one difference only. And you guys will see it in the next underwear I'm going to show you guys. So, these are called the Boxer Breeze Matte Elastic as well, an acid lime in a size medium. These are Boxer Breeze, however, the medium and these look kind of big. I don't know. I haven't opened these. This is my first time opening these. They look kind of big. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks kind of huge. Well, I mean, whatever, right? Who cares? But um, the elastic is black with lime green um, lettering on top. Of course, the signature Savage X Fenty um, signature logo. These surprisingly aren't that bad looking. However, they are very bright. Like I said, I'm a very subtle primary color type of guy. I don't really like colors like this. However, however, you know, I do have a robe and matching pants this color if you guys watched my last savage x20 video i'll probably drop the link on these corners right here you guys saw that i have a entire robe this color and who told me to get the same underwears right um <laughs> oh and actually i must say if you guys remember in that last video i had told you guys that they had the lime green robe but they had a pair of boxer briefs that were lime green that they were not they were not in stock as of yet. They were just like coming soon or they, it just said like coming soon whatever. And I think I put a, a like a screen recording whatever. These were it. I don't know. What was I thinking? What, why would I get lime green underwears with a lime green robe? Like where am I going? I'm looking like Green Lantern over here. Like come on now. But um, like I said, you could definitely spice this up. This is just like a funk, funky color, you know? Like just a throw on, whatever, who cares, you know? Who's seen your drills besides you? Hmm? Right. So, <laughs> but um, all just aside, these are very different and they're very cute. Um, the only thing is, they look kind of big. I don't know why they look kind of big. I had another pair that's a size medium and it doesn't look this big. So I'm kind of a little thrown off here, but that's the only thing. So, like I said, this is another lime green pair. And they look similar, however, as you guys can see, these are also acid green. Wait, hold on. Oh no. I'm lying. Hold on. Well, let me tell you something. They look fairly the same, but they're not actually. The color is definitely the same color. Um, these are called the Men Boxer Briefs in Fuji Apple Green. Wow. The only difference is, is the elastic band is black, but the lettering is also glitter, 
but the glitter is a, also a Fuji um, green apple color, which matched the actual box unboxing breeze. Perfect. This will have to be um, my favorite out of the two um, because the glitter. I, I'm assuming just the glitter. I think it just made it. It gave it an oomph. You know what I'm saying? Um, and these were these are a size medium. Th again, they look kind of big. I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimating them. You know? Maybe I am. I maybe I'm un underestimating them. Um, but yeah, ten out of ten for the lime green pair. Um, the other one was not really my favorite, but these, uh, I'll give these a 10 out of 10, you know, out of both pairs, I'll give these a 10 out of 10. So, jumping back into blue, if you're an OG, these are an OG pair as well. When Rihanna first, first, first came out with Savage Fenty for men. Like I said, um, if you're an OG, these were like the first, first pair that she came out with, um, for men. Um, and this color is called, the color is Blue Cyber. In a size medium as well. The boxers are blue. And then the elastic band is black with also glitter effect to it. That's also blue. I absolutely love these pair. I don't even care if they're size medium. I don't even care if they were size large. All I know is that I was going to get those. Because I wanted them in the beginning. If you're OG and you watched my first video, I swear to God. I wanted everything on there and I couldn't get it. And when she restocked, like I said, I got it. So these have to be one of my favorite pairs out of the whole entire collection because I love blue, I love the glitter, and I love just the thickness of the elastic band, the color, how it looks on my skin tone. I must say that this blue does complement my skin tone fairly, fairly well. Again, like you know how I felt about the pink pair or the that fuchsia pair? I feel the same about this, you know? It's a statement on its own. No words are needed. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, <laughs> um, I absolutely love these. Let's switch up the momentum of the blue because I noticed I have too many blues. So let me switch it up and give you guys a little bit of hot pink. Now, when I tell you guys, these are giving me a vibe. These are giving me it. These, these are the it underwears. The color is rose violet pink. Um, so the underwears, I'm assuming, are like a violet pink. The elastic band is a violet pink. But the the signature logo is kind of like this fuchsia pink red undertone in a size small. Listen. I really don't have no words. I really don't have no words for these. Um, I actually try these on and the way they fit, feel, everything. Not even a 10 out of 10. We are like a, maybe a 25 out of 10. Like, that's how good these make me look. Like, when Valentine's Day rolls around again, you guys gonna see me with one of these pairs. One of these pairs that are spicy, you guys are gonna see me one of these on. I promise you. I don't even have to say too much about this. This underwear speaks for itself. Like, oh my god. Just, just looking at it is just amazing. Like, seriously. Since we're in the pink family and... Speaking about Valentine's Day, you know, it's coming around the corner. It might, it might seem far, however. These are um, actually hot pink in a size small with the black elastic band. And then on the logo, it's kind of like this goldish glitter effect. It looks rose gold though. Is it rose gold? It doesn't say rose gold, but it looks rose gold. So I'm going I'm to take it as rose gold. Another hot pink pair, um, these have to be, these just have to be my favorite pink pair. I don't have pink underwears, these are it, these are top tier, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I think the model sold it to me. I think the black and pink gave it an extra funk, you know, compared to these pair, it was like a pink on pink, but this gives me a little bit more, I say like masculine, since the it's black and pink, a little bit of glitter. You know, a little edge to it. These right here, these are a statement. Like I said, and when the model had it on, I know that I just knew that I had to get it. You know, but um, these are like these. These are like a twenty-five out of ten. Like I, like just seriously, guys, take a moment. I'm gonna leave it right here for a little bit. Like, just look, beautiful. 
what a masterpiece. Like, what a masterpiece. Rihanna knew what she was doing when she put these out of Anton's Day. She knew she wanted people to get a little freaky. So the next box piece I'm going to show you guys are a little bit on the explicit side, but I actually love them to death. When I put them on, the way they look, I can't put them on for the camera, but you guys should get the envision. Not, in, not on me, but on someone else. Just put them out there. But these underwears are... Listen, I'm going to show you guys and you guys will see. Okay? So these are called the Men's Flocked Mesh Trunks and Color Carrier. Size small. Baby. Let's talk about a underwear. Talk about a trunk. These are absolutely stunning. Stunning. Look at look at this. Just look at this. It's see-through. It's just giving, I don't know, it's just giving freaky on another level. And these are giving me, I don't know, but these underwears, child, these underwears are at the all-time high freaky. If you know, you know. Like, what? Like, it's... I think it's the mesh, the velvet Savage X Fenty print on it. It's to die for. Like, the band has the X in the front of it. It's the Savage X Fenty logo. It's in velvet as well. The entire boxer or the entire trunk is mesh except the private part area. I don't I don't even need to say too much about these underwears because the ones who get it, get it, and the ones who don't, don't. <laughs> so, in the Mesh family, if you guys know, in the website, she has a matching tank top to the to the trunk. So, I bought the tank top in a size small. Um, this is how the tank top looks. I actually could have passed on the tank top. I'm going to be honest. I think that when I tried it on, it was fairly a little too big on me. However, I love what it was giving. I think I should I could have sized down a bit. I think I went for a size extra small. Um, because when I put the the tank top and the underwears um together as a set, the shirt was kind of covering the lower area, you know? And the purpose of it being mesh and see-through is to show it, you know? So in the front of the shirt is see-through and mesh with the signature logos all over in velvet as well to match the underwears. But the back is not see-through. It's black. So when when you put these on together, it was kind of, the back was covering the back area. Um, like I said, I feel as if like if you're gonna make a set you and you wanna make a pair of underwear like this, you want the underwear to stand out. So I I could have passed in the tank top, however, who's to say you gotta wear the tank top with anything in the bottom? Huh? Alright. You could wear the tank top by yourself. Who knows, right? You know? Spice it up on another different level. On a whole different level, spice it up. So, you don't want to wear this together. You can wear it separate. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But like I said, again, I would have definitely... I would recommend sizing down. Um, if you're, so I'm a size small. I think... This is a size small, right? Yeah. The tank top is in size small. I definitely recommend sizing down if you want more like a snug and fit look. Because the tank top is fairly kind of loose. You know? A little oversized. Not like a... A regular tank top that you will buy at a store like a polo tank top that's form-fitting like ribbed it's not like that so I could have definitely sized down but listen it's still a 10 to 10 to me I have more boxer briefs to show you guys however I want to just change it up a bit and since we on the spice it up you know genre I want to move on to a few Josh that I purchased from Savage X Fenty um, just to steer away to the you know on the spicy side and just come back to the briefs you know so I'm gonna first start off with this item now before I even show the item I must say I'm not I'm not on that level where I would wear certain things because I just never gave it a try you know but 
this item right here, I've never purchased an item like this before. This is my very first time. Um, but I must say, they look amazing. They fit amazing. And they actually compliment me very, very well. This actually took me out of my comfort zone. I must say, this did take me out of my comfort zone because, like I said, I'm not the type of person to purchase stuff like this. But, hey, it's a one time for everything, right? So, this is the Savage X thong, size small. These thongs are similar to the boxer briefs that I showed you guys earlier in the video that they are navy blue but they, they come off a little purple on the camera. Um, this is how the front looks. It has the glitter Savage X Fenty jelly texture logo on the waistband. And then of course in the back is a thong. But I must say, I I gotta give I gotta I gotta give credit when it's due, and these have to be a ten out of ten. Surprisingly, I was surprised, and I had to give this a ten out of ten. This is another level of raunchiness for me personally, but when I tried them on, no words. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm actually shocked I even purchased this because, like I said, I usually don't purchase stuff like this, so that's why I'm like lost for words. I'm gonna lie to you. Um, and I think that this right here, again, is in the same topic or genre of spicy or another level of freakiness. Because this is certainly lingerie. You know what I'm saying? This is not this is not a regular day. Like on I, I, me personally, I won't wear this or like the mesh trunks on a regular day. You know, so it kind of falls in the category of lingerie for me. So this will give me, you know, maybe an anniversary, you know, just to spice it up a little bit, you know, just have it under a robe, which they had a robe this color, not in my size. Like, I was so bummed out because I had it in my cart and then I waited till the next day to purchase it. I don't know what happened, but I waited too long and they said one left, or I think two left, and they sold out. So I don't think it was this color. I think it was more so, never mind. Never mind, disclaimer, this, it wasn't this color, it's another color, but I'll show you guys later on um, the color of the robe that I wanted to purchase that was sold out. But um, yeah, so this is the 10 of the 10 for sure. The next pair of underwears I'm going to show you guys are jock straps. I purchased four jock straps from Savage X Fenty. Um, I think I purchased two in a size medium and two in a size small, again, because I was gaining weight and then I lost it. These first pair of jock straps are in a size medium. These are the black carrier. Um, it has the rainbow logo print all over in the front. And then the drop strap, this is how it looks in the back. It's open, you know, to just, to hold your bottoms. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, these are in a size medium. They look kind of big in the crotch area, you know? I don't know why they look so big, but when you put them on, they actually snug and they actually, you know, you, you get it, you know what I'm saying? Not too much. But um, I actually love this pair. This pair actually came out during, I think, Pride. So you guys know that this, this shopping haul was long overdue. Long, long, long overdue. And I just didn't have the chance to film it. And I came back and I was like, let me do a whole collective haul. Shh, like, why not, you know? So that's why you see a lot of items here that potentially might not be in stock anymore. Um, I actually, I actually love it. I love the print. I love like how it looks. Just the overall color scheme, the black and rainbow, perfect. So for my next pair of jock straps, um, are these fiery orange jock straps and the size medium as well. Um, the elastic band is black with rose gold um glitter in the Savage X Fenty logo. Um. These I bought with the Fury boxers. As you guys can see, some of the boxers and jock straps they complement each other. They are kind of big in the crotch area because they are a size medium. However, you're gonna tell the difference in a size small. So with the size medium, of course, they are kind of bigger on me now. However, before they were kind of big, but they were more, I guess, they fit the weight that I was I had during the time. However, now, these do not fit me the way I would want them to fit, essentially, because jock straps are essentially to, I'm assuming, have to fit super tight in the back area. So since this is an elastic band, it stretches, so it doesn't firmly hold the back area, if you get what I'm saying. 
So that's the only disclaimer or the only, I say, con about the size medium. Um, but they won't go to waste. I would definitely wear these. It doesn't really matter to me, honestly, you know, who cares? Um, but yeah, I love the color, love the style. I love the black and the, the Fury Orange. Looks amazing. Now, moving on to jock straps that actually fit me. These jock straps are called the Savage X jock straps um, in the color Carrier in a size small. As you guys can see, look at the difference. The private area is a lot smaller and then the band is not so far out. So I actually love this pair. So since these are a size small, these fit me a lot, a lot better. I must say, the jock strap, yes, it's an elastic band. However, the way it shapes the area and holds the area is a lot firmer than this like the size medium these are definitely a 10 out of 10 hands down so for the last pair of jock straps these are also an og jock strap um these are the um subject fancy jock strap in the color caviar as well in a size small and then in the waistband, it has a signature Savage X Fenty logo on it. Honestly, I must say, I don't even have nothing to say. Again, these speak for itself, you know? Out of all my pairs, these have to be my favorite pair of jock straps, and I think it's because it's black. Of course, I love black. And also because the glitter effect is just giving me, it's just giving me something. You know, it's giving me a moment, it's giving me, I don't know, you know? Just an extra oomph. You know, the good is giving me that oomph, and I love it. So, I'm going to give these a 20 out of 10, because I love the color, I love the style, and they fit so well. So, so well. So, definitely a 20 out of 10 for sure. So, enough of the jock straps and thongs and all that, you know, kinky stuff. Let's just jump right back into the boxy briefs. I have six pairs left, so let's just jump right into it. So, for the first pair of trunks are these right here. These are called the um, Men's Boxer Trunks um, Iridescent Waistband. Amazing. I, I, I don't have no complaints. Um, the band is super thick. I think like most thickest band I have seen out of like the other pairs. Like the other pairs are like thick and like, you know whatever. But this is like thick but like also like thick. Like durability wise. Like whoa. Wow. This is amazing. Um, these on a size medium. But since they are trunks, and since trunks tend to rise up a lot more, these actually fit me very, very good. With that being said, I'll give these pair just a 20 out of 10. Just for the simple fact of the holographic. Like, just look at it. It looks amazing. Since we're in the topic of OG pairs of boxer briefs and trunks, these are another pair of OG boxer briefs from her first collection that... Rihanna ever ever had for men. These are in a size small in the color caviar and it has a uh, purple slash lavender um, print like the logo on the waistband. Um, the waistband is black however the lettering is on, in glitter. I absolutely love these to the fullest. Um, everything about them, everything about the boxer briefs, um, they just fit great. Look how it's picking up on the camera. Just beautiful. Just amazing. Like, I have no words. So, I'm going to definitely give these a 20 out of 10 as well. I think all the OG pairs are getting 20 out of 10 at this point. For the next pair of boxer briefs are these boxer briefs right here in a size medium. These are in the color. Uh, they're called Laid Back Blue. They're kind of like a turquoise, but a dark, dark turquoise. Uh, in the camera, it looks kind of like baby blue. But it's not. It's, um... Like a turquoise, but just a little a dark turquoise. Um, very cute. Black elastic band with the blue um, wording on it. Excellent. Um, the black and the blue actually complement each other very, very well. And the reason why I say that is because had it been glitter, I think it would have threw the color off. But since it's a solid logo, it makes it look more edgier. And I have to give these, I have to give these a 10 out of 10. I really do. So since we're in the blue family, I also purchased these Savage X trunks right here in the color Malibu Blue. Um, they are similar to the purple ones or the navy blue ones I showed you guys early in the video. Um, it's the thick band and then the logo is like the glitter. It has glitter to it, but it's that jelly texture again. 
um but these are trunks not briefs um i actually love it now this is baby blue the color is picking up very well on the camera i would definitely give these a 10 out of 10 as well um because i just love the funkiness so the next pair are the savage x fenty trunks in um the color rainbow um and these are in a size medium um these were also the collab for pride like the drop shop i showed you guys previously i think that these these are super cute i think these are super funky they just give me you know just honestly i would actually lounge around with these you know they look different they're exotic they just give me in the house vibe so the last item i'm gonna show you guys are the last pair of boxer briefs that i purchased um from savage x fenty and i say the best for last i must say or one of the best for last um, because I wanted the robe in this color, but I couldn't get it like I told you guys. But I did manage to get the underwears and in my size, in a size small. So that's why I have to save this for last. So these are called the Savage X Boxer Briefs. In the color, it's called Late Night Purple in a size small. It's It looks very light on the camera. However, they're kind of like a very, very dark purple, like a violet purple. And then the waistband has like a lighter purple. Very cute, very, you know, I don't know. They, they It's just giving wine and dine. I don't know like why it's giving me that. I think it's like, it's just because of the grape color. That's why it's giving me wine and dine. Because of the grape color of these boxers briefs. And I actually put these on. I felt in love with the color on my skin. I felt in love with the feel, the way they made me look, like just the overall color of these. And not to mention, they also had a thong in this and I couldn't purchase it because they didn't have my size. However, they had a size extra small, but I didn't want to get an extra small because I was scared that it was going to be way too tight for the front area and the back area. So I didn't get it. However, I'm just bummed out that they didn't have my size. But if she does restock, I would definitely get it, get it, because this color is amazing. And if they have the actual robe set, I need to get it. Like it's a must. No if, what's a buts about it. I need to grab that robe and the pants that match the robe because this color right here on my skin tone just looks amazing. So the next few pieces I'm gonna show you guys are all boxers. They're all in a size medium. So just in case I forget to say this, what size they are, they are size medium. I usually get all my boxers from Savage Fenty in a size medium because I had previously got a size small and I actually like my boxers to fit loose and not so form-fitting um, like my boxer briefs. So all these boxers are size medium so let's just jump right in. The first boxers I purchased were these um, Savage X Satin um, Light Blue Boxers right here in a size medium. I um, They look baby blue. However, they're more like a teal color. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's more of a teal rather than a baby blue. Um, there's satin, of course, elastic band, a stick. And then in the middle, there's a Savage X Fancy logo um, and glitter as well. I just love the color of the feel. And I actually love the logo in the front. I actually think that the logo being black brought out the teal color of the boxers and made it more edgier. For sure, for sure. This robe is the matching robe to the boxer that I just previously showed you guys. Um, this robe is called the Savage X Smoking Jacket in a color light blue as well. Again, it's like a teal color. It looks very cute on my complexion. Um, like I said, I took a picture in it. It looks amazing. Um, and then, of course, like every other robe, the robe has a side pocket on the left-hand side. Um, that has a Savage X Fenty um, embroidered in it and then it comes with a, a belt to tie up your robe in the back. You guys know that these robes and most of her robes or most of her pants fit me humongous. Like seriously, they fit me so big it's because they are robes and they're like meant for tall people I'm assuming. I don't know. But they just don't fit. And I feel like even if I get a size small they won't fit me. Because I think it will be too tight. So not only will it be too long but it will be too tight. And why would I want it to be too tight? It's a rope, you know? But still, it's huge. Like, seriously. But I absolutely love this robe. I actually love the robe more than the actual boxers, I must say. And it's because, as you, as you guys can see, I like wearing the robe and stuff like that. It's actually very comfortable. This one right here is super cozy, super, like, 
for the winter time because it has like fleece in the inside. And it's a little chilly right now um, where I'm at, so why not throw it on? And it has a hoodie to it. I don't know if you guys know this. Again, if you guys are OGs, you guys know this is actually a female robe, not a male robe. That's how you see the arms are kind of short on me, as you guys can see. But um, this robe is amazing. This is, I think this is one of my favorite... I think this was, this was from the OG video, the very first video I made. It was with this robe. And I have this robe in um, gray, and I have the robe in black. But um, I absolutely love this robe. I will have to give this robe a 10 out of 10 as well. Um, and when, they, when I put them together, they actually complement each other very good. For the next pair of boxers I purchased were these um, satin boxers. They're called the Plum Potion in the color purple. Um, and they have like this wild... It looks like cheetah print with flowers. It looks very cute. These are also in a size medium. I noticed that a lot of underwears and boxers that I purchased were purple. Don't know why. My favorite color is not purple, but I honestly think it had to be the color, the print, just everything about these boxers. It was just giving me life. Again, the model who had these boxers on had to sell it to me. And they're very exotic. Very, very exotic. Um, and then, of course, in the front of the boxers, it's the Savage X Fenty signature logo. So, like I said, I'll definitely give these underwears um, a 10 out of 10, um, just for the funk, just for the exoticness. I love these. For my next pair of boxers I purchased were these um, men's satin boxers in the color lavender in a size medium. I absolutely love these boxers. They're so simple but so cute. Um, of course, in the front, they have the signature logo again in black and gold. Um, clearly Rihanna loves the black and gold. It looks super cute. It gives the uh, extra funk to the lavender and the boxers. If you guys seen her first first collection, she had a robe um, to this and the matching boxers. And um, the robe is no longer in stock. However, I had caught the boxers when she restocked and I absolutely love this. I love this color. Um, surprisingly, it, it, it just, I don't know, like again, it's purple. It's purple, but um, I still like these. I think the purple is super cute. However, I'm kind of bummed out. I wasn't able to get the robe to this because I think that the same way that the teal robe and the teal underwears look, this would have been super cute with the robe to match this, I must say. But I would definitely give these underwears a 10 out of 10 um, because honestly, I can't lie to you. Although it's simple, I think it's because I was able to get my hands on it. That's why I love it even more. So, yeah. For the next pair of boxes I purchased, um, these are called the Seashell Blue Monogram Print in a size medium. It is a uh, baby blue with um, Savage Fenty logos all over. I think it's like a lime green color. Um, these aren't satin. These are regular, like, boxer, like a regular boxer material um, that you would purchase. I absolutely love these boxers, I must say. And, of course... The signature logo on the front with the black and gold um, in front of the waistband. Um, but I actually love these underwear so much. And I think what really grabbed me to these was that it looks like Easter colors. As you guys can see, these are so like spring, summer vibe. And they look super cozy. Like, you can definitely wear this with a tank top around the house with boxers and just lounge around the house. That's why I had to get these and I just love the color combination together like the green and the blue looked very good together and again it gave me like Easter vibes you know I, I think these are very cute actually um and the durability and the thickness of the band is fairly well like any other pair that she ever had in her collection so I would definitely give these a 20 out of 10 because the color looks great so for my next pair of boxers are these um, boxes right here, then a color color henna red and a monogram print as well in a size medium. In the camera it looks a lot red. However, in like in person it's like a very, very dark red. It's kind of like on the cran cranberry side. And then the Savage X Fenty logo um, monogram print is sort of in this dark lavender color. Very cute. And then the signature logo in the front waistband that's black and gold, of course. These are have to be one of my favorite pairs as well. I also purchased these because they looked cute on the model. And also the color was red. And I actually thought these were very, very cute. The color combination together was very cute. Um, 
So I would definitely give these a 20 out of 10 as well because I would sort of wear these as shorts on the house. You know what I'm saying? Either with boxer briefs under or just the boxers by itself. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I got them in a size medium. And I actually love these so much. So for my next boxers are these boxers right here in the color Guji Berry. However, I must disagree. This looks like a fiery red. As you guys can see in the camera, these were released, I think, for Valentine's Day. And this this pair right here screams Valentine's Day. There's no if, what's, or buts about it. It's satin, it's red, and then just, again, the black and gold um, um, logo on the front waistband. Again, with the black and red, it just signifies Valentine's Day. It looks super cute, and it, it just looks so masculine with the black and red, with the black buttons and just the satin effect to it. They feel great, they look great, and they actually look even better on me because I tried these on and I wish that she had a robe to match this because that would just spice it up even more. If there was a red satin robe, like a solid color like this, with like the logo like this on like the side pocket, forget about it. Like, somebody on Rihanna's team, please contact me. Like, seriously, contact me. I could be you got your graphic designer, I would guys be your... I would invent the most exotic stuff. So like I said, I would have to give these a 20 out of 10 as well. Although they're solid, I actually love these. Um, Again, because they give me Valentine's Day all the way. So for the next boxes, I purchased some Savage X Fenty. Were these um, satin boxes right here in the color Forever Green. And with the same wild print as the first pair I showed you guys. Um, I absolutely love the color. I think that the green just gives me a forest vibe. Um, and again, in the waistband right here, it has a signature logo in black and gold. And I think the black and green just gives me money. It just gives me like rich, a rich vibe. And uh, the fact that it's satin, it gives me more of a rich vibe already because like, come on, green is money. And it's just, I don't know, it's just real funky. But I actually love the funkiness of, of the boxers, I must say. So the next boxers I purchased were these satin boxers and Gucci Berry as well. With, um, it says Animal Romance print. So it has a cheetah print to it with hearts on it. These were her Valentine's Day collection as well. And of course, on the top of the waistband it has a black and gold um, logo in front. These are definitely for Valentine's Day because it has the hearts, it's black, it's red, it's pink. It has a little bit of cheetah print. This is a little bit on the wild side. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And then the fact that she threw the hearts in it, it really just, just summed up the whole theme of Valentine's with a little bit of, I would say, freakiness. I'll be honest with you guys, these are an exotic pair that I could definitely see myself wearing. These are also in a size medium. However, these will not be no boxers to be lounging around in. They will only be able to lounge around in after Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, again, the red robe. If there was a matching robe to this, but a solid color, like a Gucci berry color, man, I think that would have brought this whole kinkiness to another level. I'm not a lot of you guys. Or the robe will have like a, a print on the robe, like at least like in the cuff or whatever, that would have made this set amazing. Um, and I'm gonna give this a 20 out of 10 as well. I cannot go wrong with any of the wild prints I chose. These have to be my all time favorite. So for the last boxes I purchased were these hot pink satin boxes right here. And these, I say this for last because again, like the like the boxers briefs that I purchased that were hot pink. I absolutely love these boxers. And the reason why I love it, although they're solid again, I think is the color. I don't have any pink underwears and I think everything that I've seen in pink I bought it and I love it and again this was for her Valentine's Day collection and I think the fact that it's hot pink with the black it just gives it off like a masculine vibe to it although they're solid I'll have to give these a 20 out of 10 because like just look at them they're hot pink they look good they cover my skin tone they look good they feel good and I tried these on and they actually look very cute on me. So that sums up this entire Savage X Fenty shopping haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Although I wasn't able to try on all the pieces for you guys, you guys definitely got the vision. I hope you guys purchased some of these pieces I have here. And if so, drop a comment below what piece was your favorite or what piece you purchased. 
and I really hope to see you guys in the next video, so stay tuned. So once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.